Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm illustrator John McCoy. You're watching John McCoy Art, and this is my 155th daily sketch of 2020. But really, it's the combination of several days of painting in the studio. It's 15 hours of painting to create the face of St. Peregrine for the Fight Cancer St. Peregrine commissioned artwork, which is commissioned by All Saints Parish in Alpena, Michigan for installation in St. Mary's Catholic Church. The point of this piece is, of course, to encourage those battling cancer, to encourage those who have family members battling cancer, and St. Peregrine is the patron saint of AIDS victims and all other illnesses. So really, this piece is for anyone and anyone related to those suffering from illnesses of any sort. For the face, um, it's a similar process to the hands and feet but just longer. I'm using a lot of layers. I use a lot of glazing medium to adjust hues and values over the course of um, time and allow the paint to dry in between. And I find that this is a similar way to working digitally. I'm quite familiar with working digitally and I like the layered approach because I can see how much further I need to go or how I need to adjust something or move something by any means and do it with a with subsequent layers so i hope you guys enjoy watching this i do uh want to apologize for the glare on the canvas one of the downsides to working with glazing mediums is that they're very shiny and even with using a polarizing lens attached to the gopro it's difficult to reduce that glare um, it's not the same in person and i think maybe that's one of the reasons why people always say that paintings look better in person um, but of course I'm sure there are other reasons as well for that because I don't think the glare is the only reason um, a painting is created in person so it is viewed in person as best view and viewed in person and uh, the scale of it also takes effect but that that glare has it has bugged me in the past and I'm always working on solutions and ways to get around that um, the lighting and the glare have been a probably one of the forefront struggles of acrylic painting. I'm not sure if this is any different really in other mediums, but it's definitely a challenge along with um, ergonomic challenges, which are due to the scale of work and sitting and standing and so forth. These are, these are the artist's challenges, I believe, <laughs> because other than that, the painting is a blast and the, and the process of rendering something and bringing it to life is a really is really a joy is a tremendous joy and uh, I'm grateful to be working on this piece because of what it stands for because of who it's supporting is supporting everyone because so many of us even even those who are not afflicted with serious illnesses have had illnesses in our lives and so this saint is a perfect saint to pray to and have him intercede for us um, so St. Peregrine, pray for us. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Uh, if you do, I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I'm always releasing content like this. And uh, I think you're going to enjoy some of the videos coming out. I'm doing a daily sketch challenge for myself in 2020. And we're on 155. I'm cheating a little bit in the sense that I'm using the St. Peregrine footage. I'm using the St. Peregrine workload as part of my daily sketches and really this is just for the sake of efficiency because there's a lot of work to be done with St. Peregrine and to do that in combination with uh, daily sketches is can be challenging some days um, plus I, I, I see it as a perfect opportunity to share the process via that platform so again I hope you guys enjoy watching uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and enjoy the rest of this time-lapse painting process God bless.